Hey guys, welcome to my channel, 22 Layers. Um, I only have a few minutes, but I wanted to jump on real quick and do a makeup tutorial just because it's been a little while. Um, I colored my hair purple, so obviously um, I look a little different than last time. I still want to go a little bit shorter, it's a little bit too long, but um, anywho, obviously with having purple hair, like I need to adjust my makeup. Um, so that I have a little bit more color to my face to kind of match my hair. When you're blonde, you can get away with kind of going a little bit less is more, but not with purple hair. So I'm going to start off with my Smashbox 24-hour um, wear cream shadow. Um, and I'm just going to put a little bit all over from lash to brow. Last time I had already done this, but I figured I'd kind of do the whole shebang this time. I've already done my skincare. Um, so I'm just going to kind of put it over here, all over, um, and normally you can do this first and kind of let this dry if you want to, um, but I was putting it on here because today I'm going to add a new product to show you guys. Um, it's one of my favorite things that I use just to kind of give myself like a little bit of an illumination. Um, I love the MAC strobe cream, uh, especially a lot of times as we age, we feel like we kind of lose that uh, natural radiance that we have with our skin. So I just like to do a tiny little bit, um, just a tiny little drop, um, you can warm it up on your fingertips. And I just kind of put it on my apples, uh, above the apples, below the eye area, and kind of up here so that way you kind of have that healthy glow. I don't know if you can see. So there's that. And as you guys can see, I'm wearing my sleeve and my glove. Today's actually uh, National Lymphedema Day. A lot of guys probably don't know about that, but it is um, a condition that a lot of breast cancer patients um, have. It's from the removal, like from my breast cancer was here on this side, so I had all my lymph nodes removed. Um, so unfortunately now, um, I get swelling and fluid build up in my arms. So I have to wear this lovely compression garment and glove. I do have one that has fingertips, but I can't do makeup when I wear that one. So I have to wear my gauntlet whenever I'm using stuff with my hand and then put on my one with my fingertips later. So got a little sidetracked there. But anywho, today I want to do Boudoir Eyes. Um, it's one of my favorite palettes. It's not a newer one, uh, but it's from Too Faced. So what I'm going to do first is put this lighter color here. It's called In the Buff. I'm going to do that all over from my lash to my brow just to kind of set my shadow base. This is one of my favorite palettes. I use it um, on a lot of my clients. It has great pigment. Lots of options. So, all over, lash to brow. Now I'm going to do, um, I love this gray color, it's called Garter Belt here, and I'm going to use it with a flatter um, bristle brush here. I'm just going to kind of go right in the lid, and like I said before, I always do my eyes first, that way if anything flakes down, I can go back and clean it up, and I don't have to worry about messing up my concealer or having to redo my foundation. Um, I know a lot of the videos that you see, they already have their foundation on. Some people put powder there so they can just kind of brush away the powder. To me, one, it's wasting product. Two, I don't have time for all that. So I just like to just go ahead and to me, it's quick and easy. Then I can just clean up when I'm done. So a little soft layer of the gray. If you want to make um, a deeper color, you can kind of press it into the lid almost. And just kind of go back and forth like that, like so. Just soft strokes here. If you want to deepen it up, you could do like the darker black all over the lid. Um, I do have another cream shadow that I like to use underneath the um, garter belt or the purple color. It's by Laura Mercier, their little caviar sticks. This is amethyst. Um, you could actually put this on the lid too and then tap the purple or the gray color over top of it and it definitely just kind of makes it really pop. Um, and I'm going to take a little bit of the purple. I'm just going to spice it up a little bit. It's called Voulez-vous. 
Okay, next I'm going to take a, almost like a windshield wiper style brush. Um, maybe I'll make a video one day to tell you guys like what each brush does, like the differences in that. Um, I'm going to take this color here on the bottom called Fashion Suit. I like it because it has a little bit of a soft shimmer. I know a lot of women um, feel like, oh my gosh, I can't wear shimmer. My eyes are too creepy. What? You can. Um, it's really all in the application. If you just want to go with like a soft bristle brush like this, a light layer it really is not a bad thing to have a little bit of sparkle on the lid. So I'm just going to kind of go back and forth like a little windshield wiper almost. Just little soft strokes. On both sides. And you can bring it up as high as you want. I have a heavy lid. So I just kind of like to bring it up almost just to like right where the brow bone is um, and just kind of blend back and forth there. Now you could stop here for like a daytime look if you wanted to, or you could take a little bit more color. Um, I'm just going to grab a little bit of this black here, it's called French Tickler. Um, and I'm just going to do a light dab here on the outer corner and then just kind of blend it in a little bit to give me a little bit more depth. So you can kind of see the difference there. Just kind of gives it a little bit more oomph, if you will. A little bit more in the outer corner. Just little soft strokes. Like you never realize how blind you are and how much you need your glasses until you're far away from a mirror trying to do a video or you're trying to look in a tiny little mirror to put some um, eyeshadow on. So that's that. If you feel like you get too much of the dark color, um, I usually just keep like a little hand towel with me that I can wipe off my excess color. You can go back, grab a little bit of the pink or the whatever, blend. And that is kind of where I stop for that point there. Get my little fancy Q-tip here. I'm gonna clean up under my eyes. And you can kind of just bring it up. So next I'm gonna do my concealer. I really am obsessed with NARS and I did go get a new color since last time. This is the Vanilla. Um, it's the lighter shade. Um, I just like to do a few dots here. And then you want to get right on the inner corner there. And I always tell people to look up, but you want to get right under that lash line. Because a lot of times, a lot of women have um, a little bit of hyperpigmentation there. Sometimes a little readiness. Um, and just kind of, you can lift it up there if you want to. But getting in that inner corner can kind of give you that little bit of that brightness there. And right up to your lash line. And you can lift. If you have any blemishes or anything that you want to cover, um, this is a great concealer. It's not too heavy. Um, I actually have a little, this is actually a bug bite. <laughs> I was outside with my kids last night and um, I got bit by something. So I'm going to just kind of put that there, but you can just use it anywhere. So right now, a little bit of a raccoon, but um, your ring finger has the least amount of pressure. So I'm just going to kind of go back, press it in, and then right up and blend, blend, blend. You don't want to rub. You always want to pat and be gentle with your eye area. And same thing here. Pat, pat, pat. When you rub, you're taking off all that color that you're trying to put on. And like I said in my previous video, I don't use, um, I don't use a sponge, I don't use a beauty blender, I use my finger. Um, I feel a lot of times like the sponges absorb a lot of your product, I know they say you can wet it, but I just like my finger, I like the warmth of it, how it blends it in, so I'm just going to pat right into there. reason why I do my concealer after the eyeshadow um, is so that way I can put my eyeliner on immediately after that, and that I like to do my eyeliner in the inner rim here. Um, that's just how I wear it. You can wear it on the bottom. Um, you can wear it really honestly however you want to. Um, 
I am going to use a black shimmer from Chanel. It's waterproof, stays on all day. I love it. Um, also, this is something that you can do. Um, it's kind of like called tight lining. So you can do it with a powder or you can do it with a um, pencil. But if you just want to like lift your lid and you're basically just trying to draw right into that lash line and get right under there. A lot of times um, when you put eyeliner on, it's either not, um, it's too thick on one side or you, you know, I, if you put it on and then your eye rolls and you've got like a dip or whatever. So if you do like the tight line, you can just get right up into the lash line. Basically kind of just make sure lashes look a little bit thicker and fuller. It definitely is not something for everyone. Um, and you obviously need to use um, a waterproof pencil just because if you don't, it will not stay on the inside of your eye. Um, so, and I'm gonna do on the inside of the bottom. To me, eyeliner just helps to frame my eyes. There. Um, and I, and this is just from being a Bobby girl too, I like my eyeliner either all the way around or just on top. I don't like just the bottom just because I feel like your eyeliner is basically to make your lashes look thicker and fuller. So if you do just the bottom, it kind of just throws that off balance. So I'm just going to kind of get right in here again, the inside of the eye. And it definitely tickles for sure. And normally, I um, I almost try and keep my eye closed, if you will, and just kind of like look down at the mirror or get right into the mirror. But obviously, since I'm making a video for you guys, I need to kind of be here so you can see what I'm doing. So, but if you just kind of lift your eye up, you can get right into that inner corner there. Okay, now I'm going to do my um, foundation. And I think I told you guys last time, I really, um, I love the cosmetics. Their CC cream has SPF 50, but I also sometimes if I want a little bit more, I love the MAC Studio Fix. I have normal to dry skin. So right now, so these are kind of like my go-to. Um, this is MAC. And then also I've worn for years uh, my Estee Lauder Double Wear. Like I swear by it. Doesn't necessarily photograph great. It can kind of give you that ghostly um white cast in your pictures, but if you know how to blend it with a bronzer or you know how to blend it with something else, you don't have to worry about that. So I'm gonna do a scoop of the light in my hand and I'm going to do a tiny scoop of the Studio Fix. I'm going to pick my kids up from school after this and be like, Mom, why do you have all this makeup on? But I know if I didn't do it now, I wouldn't get it done this week. So, right, I've got so two different colors here. I'm just gonna kinda Mix it up in my hand. Kind of press it into my skin. You can use a brush if you want to. I do have my foundation brush over there that I was gonna use to be a little more official today, but you know, whatevs. So, going back and blending it in. So. Get up above my brows, work it up into my hairline. Get all this in my palm. You can even just kind of press it off if you want to. Okay. So if you have um, oily skin and you like powder, you are more than welcome to press the powder into your skin. I personally um, like that dewy fresh face, so I don't really wear powder. Wiping off my hands, I keep a little dirty hand rag that I wipe off on my makeup with um, whenever I'm doing my makeup. And now we're gonna go to blush. Once again, I'm gonna use my favorite MAC. Just dip a little bit of color. And I'm just going to smile. And just, I always like to press my color here on the apple of my cheek and then kind of down and back.
Little people are like, why do you smile? But um, your blush should look like you're flush, like you just kind of like ran on the treadmill for 15 minutes. So just smile, have a pat. I'm going to take a little bit of a highlighter that I have. I'm dropping stuff over here with my lovely little feather brush here from Smashbox. Um, my highlighter I'm going to use is Cargo. I like this little three pan here. Ooh, guys got like special effects. Um, I like it because it has a matte and a little bit of a shimmer. So it's kind of multi-purpose there. Just a little bit soft right on the apple. Not apple, above the apple and back towards your hairline. So, do a little bit of that. Now I'm going to do my brows. So right now, obviously with having purple hair, I'm kind of like, what should I do with my brows? So I have a pencil, but I also, you could do powder if you like to do powder on your brows. Um, I did just buy this um, MAC Fling, and I thought it was like their regular brow uh, pencil, but it's not. It's almost like a chubby stick for maybe a thicker brow. So I've just been kind of like using this, but you could also use um, a brow style brush that's more flat. So I'm just going to take this and swipe a little bit of color here onto it. And... My brows, you can still see, are kind of growing in from chemo, so they're not like super, super great yet, but I'm going to just kind of, you always want to do your um, angle down, and then just little soft strokes to just kind of brush up a little bit. I really am at the point where I could probably get them like waxed, maybe cleaned up a little bit so that um, they would be a little more defined, but I just haven't done that yet. I'm just excited to have a little bit of hair there. Just kind of swipe soft strokes. So right there and taking it to the side. Obviously you can make them a little more dramatic if you want to. Um, I said in my last video, I just kind of like a soft, just kind of a natural going with the shape of my brow where it naturally went. Um, if you have a lot of brow and you don't necessarily need color, something great you could use is a brow gel. Um, I just use this cheapo uh, Maybelline when it almost looks like a clear mascara. So if you have a lot of brow, you could just use the gel just to kind of hold them in place so that way a lot of times... Um, you know, we put gel in our hair and hairspray, but we don't do anything to our brows. And if they get kind of out of balance, this just kind of helps to hold it all in place. But I'm just going to finish with my brush here. I'm blinding myself with the light. So... Um, if you want a little bit more eyeliner, you could go back with like an ink gel or even powder um, just to give it a little bit more oomph if you wanted to. I'm just going to kind of a little right in my lash line. So that just gives it, I don't know if you can see better, a little more definition. So if you want a lighter um, lash line. You could do this side. If you want a little bit more eyeliner, you can go that way. Um, now, I'm just going to kind of close. And uh, I think I told you guys before, I like to do my mascara looking down. Um, you can do your um, lash. I lost the top of the lash thingy, so I don't really know how good this is going to grow, but we'll go for it. Okay, and so I'm going to do my favorite mascara. It's the MAC Hot and Naughty Lash. And I told you guys last time, I like to do my mascara looking down, so that way I can get right up into that lash and just kind of build the root. So if you are looking down, you can kind of get there and build it up, versus if you're looking straight ahead, then you that's when you get all the black up there. So if you're looking down, you can get in, build that good lash. I 
I used to always love when people were like, how many coats of mascara do you wear? I want to be like, you really don't want to know because I wear, I love mascara. That's one of my favorite things. I used to always um, tell my clients like, I, there's, there's no such thing as too much mascara. So I'm going to build it here. So even just with that as just the lengthening part, not the thickening, you can see like what a difference mascara makes for the eyes. Like just makes me look more awake. And I'm gonna do the other side really quick. And just gonna get right into that lash and build up. never fails. I always get some mascara somewhere or especially um, and if I have to do my makeup like early in the morning. I have really bad allergies so 9 out of 10 times I will always sneeze and then I'll have like a black ring everywhere. So that's lots of fun. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do that. Lashes. I'm going to use my Q-tip that I had earlier to clean up my little mess here. I always kind of like to wait for it to dry a little bit because if you go to clean it up right whenever you first get it on there um, and you all get black everywhere and then you're like, ugh. So, um, now you can do a little bit of bronzer and just kind of forehead. I like the Bobbi Brown bronzer because it's flat. Doesn't have any shimmer to it. A little bit of softness there. Um, last, I'm going to do a real quick um, lip liner. This is MAC Heroin. Or, I don't know, Hermione has something with an H. And I'll always do lip liner at home if you see me I normally really just have on chapstick usually and I like to just go right along the lash line lash line flip line hello and then I'm going to do um, a Bobbi Brown lip color called Heather Pink it's one of my faves it's just kind of like a good neutral pink it kind of goes with everything I did a little bit of the bolder liner just to kind of make the lipstick pop You could do a gloss over top if you wanted to. So, get a little bit out of I had some chapstick on, so probably it's going to bleed a little bit because I did that. But, anywho, so this is my soft look. A little bit more color than I'd wear, obviously. Um, it's a great everyday look. Um, probably is more makeup than some of you wear, but for me, this is like a basic daytime look. So it's something that's super easy. Like if I was gonna go to dinner with my husband or somewhere, I wanted to be a little bit dressier, I could just throw a little bit more color in or a little bit more liner to give it a bolder look. And eyes, you can kind of just kind of free lipstick so that way get that there so it doesn't get all over your teeth. Um, so now, I am ready to go. You can see just nice even skin, doesn't look heavy and cakey. Um, I really am hoping that like pretty fresh skin comes back um, into style because I just watch these videos and I feel like bad that all these young girls right now think that you have to wear so much foundation on your face because you really don't like beautiful skin. Um, you know, even if you have some blemishes, like you don't need a pound of makeup on your face to have nice coverage. Um, you don't need to contour every day. It's so much makeup and I just want people to be comfortable with what they have and kind of work with that. That's, you know, but that's just me. So, um, I actually think I probably can use a little bit more brow. So I'm going to go back with actually a brow pencil, but 
I need to figure out. I don't want purple brows, but don't necessarily want blonde either. I need to get a little bit more. Should have grabbed a brunette one for this, but. All right, so there's my look. Hope you guys like it. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely just send me a comment or a message. Um, and thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys soon. I'll put um, all the colors that I used in links on here. So, thanks.